Hey guys, I'm John. It is April 27th, and uh, this is going to be um, kind of like my video on Intel uh, ex uh, exclusively. Probably not as long as the Motherboards in 2024 video. Um, so we're going to talk about market share, their, their fabs, cheating by using TSMC, uh, TSMC, wasting stolen taxpayer money, and decades of criminal activity. Uh, I'm going to apologize up front. The um, my medium quality camera died. My 4K camera, uh, I have to. It, I can't use an extender cable. My uh, computer tower is out in the hallway because um, I'm in Florida and heat sucks. And anyway, um, so Intel has what 80% of the market share, like all all the different chips and whatnot. You know, um, tablets, laptops, desktops. Uh, OEMs, do it yourself, whatnot. Um, but they're having losses. So now, I'm not sure offhand. Um, this is more like a talking head point, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do like super deep research. So I'm gonna tell you guys that this is more an opinion piece, um, and it's fine. And uh, I don't, I don't care about the whole debate, you bro. I don't care. Uh, this is my, my, my piece. So I'm gonna say it. Uh, if you agree, you agree. If you agree in part, that's fine. Whatever. I don't care. Um, so now, I'll give you an example of Microsoft. And Microsoft, like, they, they're they like, we have to make at least 190 quadrillion dollars off of Xbox to consider it to be profitable. So, um, no. Um, that's total BS. Um, I think a lot of what they're, um, the, the issue that I'm trying to use as a, as a narrow analogy with Intel is I, I don't, I'm not quite following Intel's financials and whatnot, but when you have 80% market share, right, not quite a monopoly, monopoly is literally 100% market share, or basically 95% plus market share, okay? Intel is, how does Intel have an 80% market share? How? Um, OEMs, laptops especially, um, and fanboys, because the whole political divide and conquer tactics that work very effectively because there are a lot of fanboys. Um, don't get wrong, I do like AMD in general, um, but there are some things that they do that's dumb, that they've misread the market, but they haven't, I haven't seen them do anything that, they, that was like, yeah, they're definitely trying to screw people over. Um, so, I buy AMD. I buy AMD for my CPUs, not buy AMD for my GPUs, um, because NVIDIA is, they're just as bad, but because they're working on GPUs instead of CPUs, predominantly, um, the issues there, their, their criminal activity there is different. So, how come uh, Intel has 80% market share, but they're doing terrible? Um, because, like, an example, um, watch I watch tech videos, um, sometimes, and every time before I start working, I read uh, tech news every day. Um, well, pretty much almost every day, single day. I wouldn't say without exception, but... Um, so, they have, apparently, according to... A, I don't like referencing Wikipedia, but whatever. Um, it's, a, a, it's a quick and dirty video for a quick and dirty reference. They have 23 working fabrication sites, but they're behind on the process technology. Okay, so you look at, you know, AMD's best CPU versus a uh, Intel's best CPU for gaming, an example, okay? And Intel chips are using, what, double the power? Okay. Now, apparently, from what I've heard, is I, um, I enjoy uh, the Moore's Law is Dead channel with Tom. Um, I think that he does a pretty good job on, on leaking stuff, which is fantastic. I'm sure that the, the, the tops of uh, the technology businesses aren't quite en en enthusiastic about this channel as some of us uh, would be. But um, one of the things they mentioned is that the next generation Intel, they've stopped using their own fabrication sites and are going to use TSMC. Now, I'm not going to equate this to cheating on a math test, okay? Because this is... This is pretty bad. 
And I'm not saying it's bad for AMD. Well, and to an extent, yes, there are, but it's, it's bad for a whole bunch of reasons. Um, so first off, you're going to have people who do reviews, and they're going to say, well, oh, you know, maybe Intel, they got a slightly lower process node. They're now suddenly more efficient than AMD. No, they're not, because it's not really truly Intel chips anymore. Intel chips should be fabricated on Intel foundries, okay? And Intel foundries should be keeping up, even if they're still trailing with TSMC. If they have 80% of the consumer and business desktop market on Earth, they can afford to keep the hell up, okay? Um, you know, and I don't mind them trailing. I actually prefer them trailing because I, I would I would really like to see like a, a 30, 30, 30-ish percent market share. We need more than two, you know, x86 um, CPU manufacturers. Uh, and I don't, I don't care about NVIDIA coming into the x86 market um, because that, that wouldn't count. Um, we need legitimate businesses that aren't committing crimes, that aren't anti-consumer, that aren't anti-competitive. That's what we need in all the industries on Earth, period. Um, so, let's put it this way. Um, there's probably plenty in, uh, enough competition in the underwear market. We need more competition in the technology markets, uh, especially in the fabrication process. And by the way, um, the silicon, the size of a silicon atom, a single silicon atom is... Point, uh, apparently 0 0.02 nanometers, so there's still a good ways to shrink, um, potentially, um, because there's a, a ton of science and, and, and um, laws of physics and all that other stuff to, to, to contend with. I'm not sure. You can actually go to look up, um, search online for the size of a, a silicon atom, and, that, um, and if we can get down to a single atom thick for walls, which would be insane, we might end up using carbon instead, I don't know, um, that's not my specialty, but I, I kind of like, like how far are we going to be able to go before we hit a, a different, uh, a, you know, a permanent wall where we have to do different things like, you know, use photons of electrons. And that's another issue, um, because like AMD's back in the game, but the problem is that at a certain point, when we convert from electrons to photons, does AMD have the resources to suddenly compete with like terahertz processors from Intel if Intel beats them um, to the park. That's a, that's a huge issue. And so we have to, con you know, like um, if I uh, read and research and watch videos about like alien civilizations, uh, what happens to other civilizations out there in the cosmos, whatever, okay, and they don't, you know, it's like, seriously, there's like tons of life out there, okay. What happens when a species stops innovating? All right, because we've actually heard of um, species that just got bored and stopped working on stuff. And I would imagine, in part, to a large number of those civilizations, and I'm sure you know we have how many hundreds of billions of stars just in the Milky Way galaxy, and even one percent of one percent of one percent. Etc. There should be like thousands of civilizations um, just in our in, in our gal galaxy alone. Um, hundreds of billions of galaxies before we got that the new the new um, uh, James Webb telescope. So now you know you put out a football stadium sized um, uh, telescope out in space, and I'm sure that the universe is you know quintillions of years old, whatever. Um, so it's important that we always have competition, it's important that um, we don't allow criminals and criminal activity to continue and persist. And unfortunately, right now on Earth, pretty much, as far as I can tell, most corporations are just, you know, large corporations, not like if you incorporated, but you got like 10 employees, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not saying that yay or nay on that level, but most large corporations or at least have heavy criminal elements if aren't outright themselves criminal at this point. Um, so that's not capitalism, that's cronyism, okay? And I'm not gonna get into the, the subjectivity of language right now. That's not the point of the video. The point of the video is Intel. And so Intel's created a lot of issues, NVIDIA's created a lot of issues on their end. Um, so 
uh, frankly, the simplest way to put it is that they're cheating by using TSMC. I think that's that's trash. Um, do we really need three nanometer Celeron processors? Really, um, you know, high-end process nodes used to produce trash, waste of silicon. Um, and, um, and that brings up the point. Like for an example, their GPU division, um, they suddenly changed the uh, actual rendering resolution. You know, for the for the scaling. So they're no longer on par with AMD and NVIDIA. And so they're cheating on that. So they're still doing that, even though they're the entry level. Um, so again, based on ethics alone, as a businessman, I will not use, and I refuse, like if you came up to me and said, hey, here's $500,000 worth of free Intel um, stuff servers, and I, I'd say no, keep it. I don't, I don't want that. Um, so, plus, especially um, because some of their manufacturing fabs are based over in Israel, and there's a lot of spying issues from Israel to the United States and whatnot, uh, VPNs, so there's a lot of security issues. I'm not saying that AMD doesn't have their own respective security issues, um, but that's also another consideration. Um, wasting stolen taxpayer money from U.S. Chips Act. So that's uh, another talking point. They have 80% of the freaking market. Why does Intel need money for anything? How many fabs do they have? They can't upgrade their own fabs. They can't afford um, to keep up. You know, they, they can afford to keep up with, um, even if they're trailing, uh, TSMC. And, you know, frankly, I think if they can only produce so many chips, I would say, okay, then take your, your, your best fab, okay, that can do, let's say, you know, the equivalent of TSMC's 7 nanometer, okay, uh, and then produce the equivalent of TSMC's, you know, 10, 10 nanometer for the lower-end chips and use the, the one fab that's doing the best for the high-end chips. Split, split the difference. Um, they got how many fabs now? Obviously, I don't think um, all those fabs are all doing the same thing. That wouldn't make sense. You have, you know, like, production, packaging, all this other stuff. Uh, I just think it's um, just ridiculous. So, yeah, I, 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 they've got decades of criminal history. I don't really have much to go on this one other than, I mean, you can look up Intel criminal, um, you know, there's, there's videos and whatnot you can look up very easily. Um, I forget the name of the gentleman. He's got like, he's Scottish, I think, or Irish. Um, I'm not trying to mix them up. I just forget which one. Because I haven't watched, he hasn't made a lot of videos of late. Um, and I'm not getting the, the, the recommendations. So, um, and uh, YouTube thinks that I want to watch cat videos morning, noon, and night. And like, a cat video every now and then is nice. But I want to watch tech. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you. Um, so, I'm sure you guys can uh, point out in the, uh, the comments section or whatnot. But yeah, um, I, I don't buy Intel. I never get excited about anything with Intel. Um, they jump on the hype trains. Um, they have no qualms about committing crimes against consumers, committing crimes against, you know, other businesses in the industry. Um, you know, they're putting their, you know, their, their chips, like the land chips, on AMD motherboards. Uh, I mean, just, you know, really scumbag kind of stuff that um, no self-respecting business person would do, period. So, um, you know, and anyone says, oh, you're, you're hating on Intel, hey, 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 but if someone, if AMD didn't exist, how would you feel about buying a $600 Celeron processor? That's what you get with a monopoly. And how come AMD only has 20%-ish market share? What's going on with the laptop market? Um, and the, the problem is that a lot of these businesses, we're going to call them businesses, even though I question that to a, a very large extent. Uh, they get comfortable using the same manufacturer, in this case, case in point, Intel, and they just keep spinning out the same trash. And one of my goals is once I've got my web business really you know, booming here, is to get into the hardware industry and fix all the problems. There's so many problems, uh, the crappy keyboards. Um, low capacity SSDs, low capacity RAM on laptops. Actually, that, that's, a, that's a a good uh, video. Uh, I've heard that there's a lot of things like, oh, you don't, we don't want, you know, 16 gigs and one terabyte um, uh, 
laptop set up for less or at least eight hundred dollars. And no, that should be sixteen gigs of RAM and a terabyte SSD uh, on an NVMe on a laptop shouldn't cost more than five hundred dollars at this point. Period. That, that's like we should be looking at thirty-two gigs and two and four terabyte SSDs for eight hundred dollars. That I mean, the laptop market is very stagnant. Um, way too much on the Intel trash and uh, I have a, a particular interest in the uh, forever upgradable um, laptop it's a very interesting idea um, again if I didn't just shoot the video off cuff here I'd never get it done and recorded and, and out there so uh, if you guys want uh, references just ping me in the comments I do get an email I'll reply I'll post a link to whatever I've referenced I can spend like five or ten minutes later on down the road then um, to reference that. So, um, yeah, we, we, when, when there's more competition, there's more innovation. And if we lose innovation as a species, we're, where does that place us, let's say, two, three, four hundred years, you know, let's say two, three thousand years from now? You know, I don't know what the technology is going to be like. I don't know what we're going to be able to do. Um, I don't know how far we can push the technology and the performance and all that. Um, and again, it's it's a part of life. Technology isn't life. It is only your life. Then eh. Um, but th these these are things that take into serious consideration. So yes, the the month to month, year to year stuff that's no kind of important. That's what we have in the immediate. But the long term is is I would say even more important. And criminal organizations like Intel and NVIDIA uh, really endanger that because, you know, let's say you got in a time machine and, or you just somehow you know, froze yourself for a hundred years and Intel and NVIDIA have their way, what do you think, you know, would we have anything to talk about a hundred years from now um, if those monopolies were able, able to succeed? It would be boring. We wouldn't be talking about, forget about aliens. You know, when we get to um, public interstellar commerce. So, anyway, just kind of my thoughts on Intel. Um, and yes, if some um, hate is legitimate and uh, someone, you know, heaven forbid, you know, murders or injures someone that you care about maliciously, whatever, you have the right to hate them. Uh, and when you have mass criminal activity on like a, a global scale, um, that's. That's the legitimate way to feel. You should feel hate against people doing just massive amounts of crime. So, uh, I'm not going to say that AMD is perfect, and they definitely um, dropped the ball on a few things. Um, I think they need more PCI Express lanes on, on the, the motherboards um, for consumers, at least at the very high end. They don't need it for everyone, because a lot of people still plug in, you know, just a graphics card, maybe a sound card. Uh, I like my dedicated sound cards, but because uh, the onboard audio is, is trash. But I already made a video talking about that, uh, the motherboards in 2024. And uh, this is kind of like Intel in, in general, but I, I suppose I'll, I'll name this one Intel in 2024. So that's kind of my thoughts. Um, so my recommendation is and always has been, um, I have used Intel in the past. The last Intel motherboard I use use Ardream. And um, for those of you who've been around long enough, we're talking, I think, like mid 2000s, I think. I think. So, and then I went to socket 754, socket 939, AM3, AM3 Plus, now I'm on socket AM4, and I'm, I'm trying to get my business to the point where I can go to socket AM5 myself right now. So, anyway, um, yeah, that, that's how far back I have used until in the past. Um, and. Um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and comment what, what you guys think. Um, keep it civil, of course. And um, until next time.